Power? No power. <laughs> Let's go. There we go again. Now get ready, you sucker. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard And the topic for this one is how to silence your fridge in seconds, well with the press of a button. So let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now this fridge right here is currently running. Perfect timing. Well, this thing is running most of the times. It's an old fridge and it sucks. <laughs> and it's really loud. That's the main problem. It's a pain in my butt for months now, literally since day one. The freezer, was even worse, so I actually had to take this one out of my flat. I brought it down to the basement because this thing kept waking me up every night. It's not as bad with the fridge, it just prevents me from falling asleep. It's not really waking me up or anything like that, so that's okay. Can you hear this? There's a compressor doing its job, I guess, but it sucks, it's stupid, it's loud, I hate it. So I just want to, from my bed, just press a button and shut it off, that would be awesome. So that's what I intend to do in this vlog. And I, well, I'm basically almost done. Now check this out. I brought this coupler and inside is this. It's fairly simple. Black wire goes to the relay, blue goes through as well as the green, yellow one. Let's close it up. That's the easy part, literally easy. So yeah, that's this thing right here. And then I brought an Arduino with a relay and an infrared receiver. Battery right here and the remote. Okay, let's have a look at the code. There's the code right here. Infrared remote library. Define a receiver and a relay. Receiver on two, relay on three. I create my timeout. Define the seconds, the minutes and my timeout. I got this from the sketch that I got with my test kit. I modified it a bit, removed every case except this one for the, for the power off button right here. So if I press the power off, it will print power off and then write high on the relay, which will activate it. And then it will go into the timeout, which is one hour at this very moment. After that is another delay. And that's the setup right here, defining the pins and stuff like that. And here is a loop. So I didn't change anything when it gets to the loop, except adding a delay right here. But yeah, it's fairly simple. Power plugs right here. That's the receiver module, that's the relay. It's powered by a power bank. Oh, actually it turned off, God damn it. Oh no, not this problem again. That's the basic principle right here. Need to find another power, power source, god damn it. But yeah, it's working. And now let's get to actually implementing it. There are a few things that I need to figure out. Plus, uh, minus. So this thing is on. Wait a second, is this the battery? Why isn't it? Don't tell me I brought the battery relay. Why? Oh, oh my god, never mind, never mind, never mind. It just popped out, I think it's. Hey, let's go. Oh my god, I was I was kinda I was kinda bummed right there for a second. Let's go. Now I need to figure out which of these no. Oh no, I did not bring my screwdriver. Is this one too? No, oh, I think this one will do. Check out these screws, they are so tiny. I think one this will this one will barely fit in. Okay. I need to figure out which of these connections are the right connections. Brought my stairway to heaven and what I was talking about is of course normally closed and normally open and it needs to be normally closed of course so that it gets powered. Okay let's try that. Let's see. No power. Okay let's switch it up. Okay in this position no power. Let's see if this is like the exact opposite of what we need. It is, it actually is. Ah. <laughs> okay, so three out of three, that has to be it then. Let's check, here we go, nice. Descending. <laughs> okay, now this is gonna be good. Let's try that. Power. 
no power. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. If I reset this thing, power will go, will come back. Just like that. This is so awesome. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. There we go again. Now get ready, you sucker. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> Let's give it a reset. I don't know if that's good or bad for the fridge, but I, I actually don't care. It's doing something, I guess. Well, I, will, I guess I will find out sooner or later. And I will also find out how long this battery will hold up. Maybe not, because I will probably always unplug it. Keep it unplugged, save power. <laughs> so nice. Just like that. Oh yes, that was... That was about time. This remote plus this thing, so many possibilities. I could implement LED lights. I could do so much stuff and I probably will. So stay tuned for the next home improvement vlogs, I guess. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I can now smash this fridge to silence. Does that make sense, I guess. Bang the bell like to never miss home improvement and DIY vlogs. Arduino stuff. Check the recent news on chrisvarable.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.